Hello everyone, I'm Joe Oceanside, and on this channel I take you on the best underwater adventures across Florida. In this video, I wanna help you get started snorkeling by showing you what is the best type of snorkel gear for beginners. And make sure to watch to the end of the video because we are giving away three snorkel sets to the audience. This video is sponsored by GetWetStore.com. They are an online store for snorkel and dive gear. They have everything you need to get started snorkeling and they are offering my subscribers 10% off your purchase by using discount code JOE10. You can also check the links down below. Selecting a mask. For beginner snorkelers, I always recommend a traditional snorkel mask instead of a full face mask. These masks are safer and simpler and they can be used for scuba diving or free diving as your skills progress. When selecting a snorkel mask, the most important thing is fit. You want the seal of the mask to make good contact all the way around your face and you don't want it to press too hard on your nose or your forehead. Look for a mask that has a good silicone rubber seal on it like this Promate Spectrum mask. Also, a good quality snorkel mask will have tempered glass lenses, not plastic or polycarbonate. Tempered glass is much more scratch resistant than plastics. Most snorkel masks will have the option of black rubber or clear rubber on the mask seal. I recommend black rubber. It helps reduce the amount of sunlight and glare shining into your eyes. Real quick, if you are learning from this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe for more great snorkeling videos. Selecting a snorkel. When looking for a snorkel, you will see options like semi-dry, fully dry, and roll up. For a beginner, I would recommend a fully dry snorkel. A fully dry snorkel has a water stopper at the top of the snorkel. So if the snorkel goes underwater or gets splashed, it will prevent water from getting in the snorkel and getting into your mouth. Most fully dry snorkels will also have a drain at the bottom. So if water does get inside the snorkel, it'll be really easy for you to get the water back out. All you have to do is give the snorkel a good hard blow, and the water will be pushed out the bottom and the snorkel will be dry again. Also, you will want to select a snorkel that has a good flexible joint in it for comfort and has enough play in the mount so you can get the right fit on your mask. This Promate Spectrum snorkel even has a safety whistle built right into it. Selecting fins. For beginner snorkelers, I recommend medium length snorkel fins. There are long fins that are made for free diving and there are also short snorkeling fins, but in my opinion, they do not provide enough power. I think the medium length snorkeling fins are perfect. Also, you will have the option for a full foot pocket or an open foot pocket like this. Either are fine. Full foot pockets are simpler and less likely to break. However, open foot pockets like this allow for more adjustment and they also allow you to use them while wearing a water shoe or a dive booty, which is great if you have to walk across a rough or rocky beach to get to the water. I got these fins in a gray color to match my gear and look cool in videos, but for a beginner, I would recommend you get a very bright and easy to see color like yellow or green. This will be a little bit safer because while you're out in the water, it'll allow others to see you more easily and allow boaters to spot you if they're passing by. Selecting safety gear. For a beginner snorkeler, I would recommend using a snorkeling safety vest like this one from GetWetStore.com. You can leave the vest deflated so you can dive below the surface of water and see fish and see the reef life down there. But if you get a little tired or nervous, you can always blow into here and inflate the vest for a little extra security while swimming out in the water. Also, the bright color will help others know where you are in the water and help keep boaters alert that you're nearby. Protection from the elements. If you are out snorkeling, you will be exposed to the sun and to the ocean. You should take care of your skin by always wearing a rash guard or a dive skin to prevent you from getting stung by jellyfish, fire coral, or getting burned really bad by the sun. If the water is cold, you should use a wetsuit to keep yourself warm. If you are gonna use sunblock, make sure you use a reef safe sunblock to help prevent damage to the nearby corals. Caring for your gear. Always make sure your gear is in good condition. As soon as you're finished, rinse off any sand that may be on your gear so it won't get scratched. As soon as you can, rinse off your gear with fresh water to prevent any salt buildup on your gear. Never leave your gear sitting in the pool for too long and also never leave your gear out in the sun for too long either. GetWetStore.com is being very generous. In addition to giving my audience a 10% discount code using code JOE10, they're also giving away a snorkel set to three different people in my audience. All you have to do to enter for a chance to win is follow me on Instagram and send me a message there and tell me why you wanna get started snorkeling. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel for the best underwater adventure videos on YouTube. Now get out there and explore.